to everything to that we yeah. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. So, so this concept was built on. Now imagine if Sharif sent it to you. I've got uh, this jacket. It's just pluck out of the air. The the swing was done in the air. It was a random process. You would say, I'm gonna give you a ticket to the hospital. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is what the conclusion would be. So now, if we did have this consistency of believing there is something, always there is a maker. Yeah, maker. Ma yeah. Right, right. Yes. Now, a, a person of rationality would also conclude that on the extension of this understanding of this worldly life, that you can conclude that, let me be consistent. If everything has a maker on it. Oh, okay, I see your point. Yeah, yeah do you yeah, see? I see it, yeah. Now. Yeah. No, let me finish. Yeah. Must be yeah. The so now I'm Origin saying, I'm saying what Origin I'm saying. Uh, now I'm, I'm saying yeah. you can believe there is no God, right? That we yeah. don't force anyone. But what I'm saying is, if you say I'm consistent in all everything in my life, then consistent. If you follow this consistency model, then you would also conclude there is a God. But when what we see is when the discussion happened is everyone is consistent in certain aspect of time. Yeah. We are saying as a Muslim that you should be consistent throughout the package. Yeah. If you consistent throughout the package, that means everything in your worldly life. Let's, I'll, I'll give you a demonstration of today. Today, from since you wake up and since I wake up and since everyone is wake up, pretty much everything we used, our conscience, our rationality, we applied it. If you feel cold, you got the jacket, I get the jacket out you put your socks on to protect yourself, right? So we are using those intellectual faculties, right? And this is something we are doing all the time, right? So we are, cons yeah. we are consistent approach in our, how do we live our life? So the God, believe in God is the matter of consistency, extension to the belief of that we, sound, we are in the reality. Like for example, like my brother, now let me go back to his point. He yeah. makes a very good point. So my point is, uh, yeah. I was talking about cosmological argument. So everything that you know of, you must have a designer. It must be created, right? Yeah. So I'm saying I gave you three options. Did the universe created it itself? The answer is, is, is no. Just like I gave you an option earlier about the phone. Did he create it itself? You say it can't be, it can't create it itself. Yeah. Someone made it or someone designed it. Someone designed the original. Okay. So I think that the, that the point. consistency I approach, the consistency approach, is, I understand that. Yeah, yes, consistency yeah. approach. I understand that there yes. must have been someone yeah. that created it. Someone yes. made it, right? Yeah. So, okay, so now let's move further. So I'm saying universe and the phone, the phone that you have, I don't know whether it's iPhone or Samsung, which one is more complex, your phone? Or the universe and you said universe is more complex right yeah so i say the universe must have a designer someone made it i mean entered some someone made it right and this and this, and this person that's not okay this person is i mean the, the concept of the god in islam is i'll give you four definition yeah I'll, I'll give you I'll, I'll give you don't worry about it do you not I'll feel like comfortable just, within our it's a very nice conversation just right? look at me yeah 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 yeah, yeah. yeah just don't look worry. at me and concentrate yeah there's a four definition about the concept of god in islam i'll read it to you in arabic and english would you mind it and it says Allah i had say god is one and only so this creator that i mentioned the one who designed the universe he has to be one Allah Allah is eternal. He's self-sufficient. He's yeah. out of space and time. Lam Yalid, he begets not, nor was he begotten. He does not have children, offspring, parents, mother, father. He's, he's on, it's, uh, it's yakullah, omnipresent. He always exists. Yeah, he always what, exists. Yeah. It's always a, it's a question of where, where did God okay, come we'll from? Come into that. Okay, we'll come. I think the, the question is who created God? That will fall into infinite regression. Is who created God? Who this created this God? It will this, build this up. Otherwise, we wouldn't be here. What says the universe is not just infinitely regressive? I mean, at the end of it all, at the end of yeah. the universe, everything's yeah. going to collapse into a black hole. So do you know and universe? Collapse on itself. But do you know universe has a beginning? Yeah. Well, so it's like expanding. Big bang. Yeah. So who created the universe? That is the question. Well, the thing is, I mean, the current theory is that it collapsed into itself and then re-expanded again. So it came yeah, by it's, itself. It's the, so it created itself. Is that what you say? It's just on an infinite loop. Yeah, a but bit what like I'm saying God is, is on an infinite regression. I mean, I mean, the universe could be on its own infinite no, regression without. No, but no, no. I think I think he has made it. Uh, I'm assuming it's uh, the same. Uh, Sharif, can, just can I take this answer? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Because I'm meaning uh, 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 the universe okay. will collapse okay. and then rebuild itself. Hassan, let me let me take the let me let me let me take this point. Yeah. 
when we talk about the universe, yeah? The universe operated under certain laws, right? Yeah. Like the laws of physics and... Correct. So, so the sun has a special role. Sun, the moon, the orbit, there are certain laws and we see there are some arrangement going, correct? Yeah. So, when we see those arrangements, what does that tell you? There was an... So, if there is a random things, right? Mm -hmm. The random things would be... Would, why why don't we see the non-random things happening why sorry uh, why don't we see random things why we see a particular well, pattern every, everything follows the rules yeah, exactly the laws of right right physics. so now so when we see a law within a place consistency yeah belief comes with consistency this is the word i'm going to use then, no no i'll tell you i'll tell you why con consistency but just to, to find no. another one, because like, say like quantum physics, which does exist, doesn't follow the laws of physics. Right. That throws it out of the mix, because a lot of the common laws of physics don't apply at quantum level. Look, I tell and you... the I, laws of physics look, kind look, of look, go look. To, to shift. I, I, I know the point, yes. So when we say those quantum vacuum and the universe from nothing, right? All those. Yeah. And I'll, let me share with you something about a book written on a universe from nothing by a famous atheist called Lauren Krauss. So when he actually defined that nothing, he actually misled the audience okay. by, if there is something, I can't say it's nothing. Do you see? So imagine you're wearing a t-shirt and you say it's nothing. Yeah. So what you have done is actually something by you, how do you say, mis uh, confuse people with the wording. So when he was explaining a universe from nothing, and the intellectual dishonesty that he showed to the people, he actually defined something and label as nothing. So when I, my question as consistency, my extension of this universe, the extension of this universe, everything in this, within the universe, we understood everything is, someone has made something, someone has made something. This is a consistency approach. So when we say universe, if we extend our consistency approach, we say there is a creator. Yeah. Now let's look at how this universe, because in order to know something, we need to investigate the product itself. So we have this universe, it has some laws. For example, the sound, the fire, let's say fire, that we have sound, they do not collide each other, it has an own role. You know with the sound, this is, through sound you cannot cook. Why we do not see they are intervening, meaning they within the sound, fire, electricity there are particular ways yeah. so what we identify within the consistency level there is a law and a pattern which is governing that we don't see a chicken giving birth to a human being uh -huh. have you ever seen this no so we see this pattern i'm saying in a consistency form yeah. like i said we respect your belief Yes. It's totally yeah. up to you. Yeah, it's a friendly conversation. We Muslim yeah, no, giving I understand. a... Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, no. everyone has yeah. different beliefs. Like, no, 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 no. I was baptized, so I was Christian, so, but so, I don't believe so, 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 okay. so, so the point, yeah, so the, the, so the point here is, the point here is that if we allow some form, there's one called consistency in thinking. Secondly, when we look at this universe as a whole and totality, and examining its nature and how it's behaving, like for example, when you go to the doctor, a patient behaving in a certain specific way. Yes. If patient behaving in a particular way, doctor had to examine that particular way of treating that person. Same yeah. way, when we see the pattern of the universe, the rain, the, the, the lighting, uh, the gravity, the strong force, the weak force, yeah? Each have a universal law within that itself. Yeah. And each of them, right? So now within all of those, if Let's say we use our random words. Random means that would all have mixed in together. The sound would mixing with fire, the fire with mixing with something else, we would have cooked through the sound. Have you ever cooked through sound? No. No, so we uh, cook through fire. So there are particular pattern of each thing that shows an individual mind or a single mind who was maintaining all this. And I'll give you an example of consistency and how should we understand when i take oxygen yeah so the tree is releasing oxygen what i'm releasing carbon dioxide mm -hmm. so the tree is engulfing that carbon dioxide yeah now this tree was actually not a random thing it was a 
pattern is a design because if the tree was not in any way relationship with me i would have say oh maybe something else but the the reason why trees existence is necessary for us now my question is let's say there will be no tree and as an atheist person yeah. can he define say that without tree can we survive no we can't simple so that means yeah. our existence depend on the creation that means the one who brought us into existence also brought the tree into existence that shows that it's not random I think also do, I, do you see I, my I, point? I don't believe that humans are as unique as we believe we are as in like no we like, did, like god if, if yeah. there's aliens living on a different planet did god create them look what when, when is, to, is that is that allowed because i mean like look, christianity look, it's, i mean he created humans but the minute you find an alien it kind of throws no, it all because look, god look, created look, look, us the in question, his the, image look yeah, look, look in our understanding of, uh, our understanding of christian concept of god creating man in his own image we believe god has no likeness meaning we do god has a particular way of explaining about god but we do not equivalent that allah said laysa ka mislihi there yeah. is nothing like allah mentioned about him but we are not like you know we are not the image of god meaning in a sense that yeah, we are you, right you are so we do not yeah we do not to god this is this is a you, you see this is a christian problem and this is often attributed to islam i tell you why because in christianity god the salvation is god had to come down sacrifice for everyone in islam no every individual has to be uh, be, uh, be accountable for their own affairs so yeah. i am not dying for you you are not dying for me allah say no exactly <laughs> allah said la taziru waziratan wizra ukhra no soul will bear the accountability of another so islam as a if you come from a rational angle i like i said if as a brother in humanity i would like to see you become a muslim if you, and maybe take this message if we allow the consistency model Yeah. You will come to a conclusion and the looking at the law of the universe and which I've mentioned that that within the nature we do not see there is a cross pattern that means there are laws in prince in place now someone who has to maintain the law otherwise the law will be violating just like i said not the laws of physics so exactly of right so exactly so this throw dimensions it itself actually a self existing argument solve evident argument for god yeah so so this would you like to well, so brother that, sorry did i need to sense. add anything sorry does no, that make sense i, I understand please the please do so i understand yeah. the basis yeah. of for okay. uh, for our religious bill obviously i respect all religions i understand christianity and so, what they believe in so obviously personally i I always remain in my belief but the same way you always remain in your belief so, so yeah. with, with the consistency uh, uh, my my question is yeah, 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 sure, you know sure. in the quran is asking you there's a chapter 52 verse 35 yeah it says were they created out of nothing or were they created uh, themselves the creators mm -hmm. or did they create the heaven and the earth forever they are no certain he says am khuliqu min khayri shay'in am humul khaliqun so did you create yourself or were you created i was created through so well, the randomness of the universe that's what i believe it's the chaos of it all that i believe in so i don't who believe created that chaos and everything that you mentioned i think it just come from the universe there's no i don't so think I could ever gauge i don't think it was necessarily created but by anyone but the discussion just started a, like this yeah? the discussion started the universe there must be a designer the creator who created the universe that's how our argument started the discussion I, no i understand that but i think yeah. obviously my belief basis is on the the beginning of the universe there is no there's no specified creator it is just completely random so maybe yeah. you didn't know about the creator now you came in to to speak to a muslim so i'm presenting to you about islam maybe you believe in the law of physics that's why yeah. you yeah that's why but now i understand obviously they get to see a lot of pretty I've much most religions believe in that there is this like basis of this the yeah, but creator most religion is irrelevant to islam islam is is unique islam yeah. is teaching about the purpose of life why we here why we in this life why we created who gave us life who created the universe we saying is allah who gave us life who created yeah. us allah is the one who created the universe human being animals everything that you know of he created the day and night for you to reflect open and ponder so what we saying is in islam is very simple god is one he alone deserves to be worshiped 
he's self-sufficient, he's independent, he's out of space and time. He gave us life to worship him. He says in the Quran, وَمَا خَلَقْتُ الْجِنَّ وَالْإِنسَ إِلَّا لِيَعْبُدُونَ I have not created a human being and, and a different creation is called jinn, except to worship me. Worship could have so many meanings. For instance, to obey God's command, to fulfill the commandment is to be kind so I, to others, yeah. to worship yeah, God, make to recognize who this creator is. How do you know this creator is? God has sent us prophets and messengers. That's yeah. how we know. For instance, he sent us prophet uh, Abraham, prophet Noah, prophet Moses, prophet Joseph, prophet Jesus, Isa peace be upon him, and prophet Muhammad is the last and final messenger of God. So all of them were truthful and God has chosen them to convey the message, to call people to worship one God. That's how we came to conclusion. The Quran is preserved book. So now we discuss about the oneness of God and we discuss about the prophet of God. And now we're discussing about this Quran. Quran is the last scripture yeah. of God Almighty that was sent to guide us, to, to show us the right path to choose, to know who this creator is. If you don't, have you ever read the Quran? Yeah. So that's why, like I said, because all your beliefs was based on scientific. Uh, you, you are relying on them because you never, you are not familiar into Islam belief. Now yeah. I'm presenting to you about Islam. My advice is to you, this is the Quran, yeah? Go and read it. This is the Quran. But I can give you with a leaflet. I'll take you, you with the bag as well. So yeah, yeah, the yeah. bag with everything. <laughs> So the Quran has so many, for instance, it's got scientific facts, it's got embryology, how the universe were created, how the human beings were created, how the animals, the sun, and everything is for you guys to, refund, to, to ponder and reflect. So the question is in the Quran is asking you, did you create yourself or were you created? Logic dictates you, you knew that you were created, right? Yeah. So for instance, if I were to give you one million pounds, what would you say to me? I mean, if you're offered it now, I'll take it. Yeah, but if I say, say to you, call stuff. me, call I'll me five me. times a day, yeah, <laughs> it will change your life, right? You can buy Ferrari or uh, Lamborghini, Lamborghini or whatever you like, yeah. or mansion. It will change. Your, but I say to you, call me five times a day. Would you call me? What? Five times a day, and yeah. I get a million. Yeah, you get a million. It will yeah, change. Yeah, five times a day for a million. <laughs> okay, but if I say to you, give me your two eyes, what would you say to me? Yeah, enough like that. Enough. Why not? <laughs> What I want to see. You so know? your eyes is more precious, right? I mean, I can't play an instrument. Huh? I'm going to be a dude, Stevie Wonder, man. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be blind, man. Yeah, I'll be the, the the so the what I would say to you is this, yeah? Why do you be grateful to the one who gave your two eyes? It's Allah. Yeah. Uh, no, it's a fair enough word. Yeah. At least yeah, yeah. To, yeah, to believe in something. Yeah. But I understand, I understand the belief in our comprehension. I understand the, uh, the idea yeah. behind yeah. believing in this. So I, th I think going back okay, to... Okay, so go back to this yeah, brother, yeah, inshallah. Yeah, I think, you know... Yeah, yeah, so you, you I'm going to have to just... I, yeah, 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 I, I, I want to okay. touch up on that. What's your name, brother? I want to... Ryan. Ryan. Nice Sharif, nice yeah. to meet you, brother. I want to touch up on that randomness that yeah. you mentioned, you know. Because there are certain way we come to come to a conclusion about our belief, right? Yeah. And when I mention about the consistency approach, Remember that, yeah, yeah. Consistency approach is, if we, if I'm consistent in a certain pattern of my belief about this worldly life, as a believer, we are not asking someone to be doing an, something additional, Ra rather be consistent, you will be a believer. That's as simple as that. In order to be atheist, all of my life I'm consistent and suddenly I have to become inconsistent. Now, let's define the randomness, right? I have showed you randomness and design and a pattern and a law they are is contradictory randomness means I have let's say if I say random numbers meaning it should not follow one two three four if I if it is one two three four five six this is a chronology yeah if the numbers are all around like 37 to 93 this call you say is a random number meaning there is no order since we demonstrated within our reality that everything working on an order even from the universe when we examining that within universe has laws pattern and there are certain way of this universe has been governed yeah it signify there is law within place and the, this requires a planned design and it's not randomness so from this the reality of this universe when we evaluate 
randomness doesn't exist into our spectrum of investigation. Yeah. It only exists when I have the belief in not to believe in a creator, then this has been used as a scapegoat not to believe. Oh, to, yeah. to just provide it a randomness. Yes, yeah, because, exactly. So the randomness, actually, I'll tell you one thing. Rand randomness doesn't breed yeah. uh, maintenance. Yeah. Because you see around, you yeah. see there's, there's maintenance. It's of, true, you know, true. A heart is beating. Exactly. You know, billions of times, millions of times. Sure. You can't even come, count. Come yeah, so, so what we see is that when we see the creation of the heavens and the earth, right, we only see there's a maintenance that's going on, yeah? You always see there's an order of night and day. If this is randomness, what we should have seen as a result, we should have seen chaos, like, like spontaneous, but we don't see that. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. It. So it's even it's even like even in science, there's something called the principle of entropy. I don't know you, you you heard this before. Entropy. So the entropy basically means that unless there is something that is controlling uh, a particular thing, it will lead to chaos. So as simple as, for example, um, for example, in a in a in a bedroom where you know everything's a mess or things are breaking, right? Unless there's something that is controlling the outcome, it will lead to chaos. But yeah. we don't see the chaos that's around here, is it? So something is maintaining this. And when we look yeah. at the science, and by the way, uh, from an Islamic perspective, uh, science, we take it with a pinch of salt, yeah? Science for us, Islamic perspective, is to appreciate God's creation, actually. Yeah? So science is to... Yeah, it's the like, yeah. documentation of... That creation opposed to it being the it, exactly it actually doesn't it's answer it, it doesn't yeah. actually answer the existential question it's, 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 no, it's, it's no because the model itself limited normal. look the model itself limited because when you're yes. talking about metaphysical things and the science deal with the physical things yes. right yeah. so it's not the right tool so we often use science or science still science actually not cater for yeah. answering this question when the observation is limited when when the all the plausibility of finding out the information is limited then you remain with yeah. this logical rational thinking of looking at the best possible understanding within the reality so, so in science in the, in the scientific method they have yeah. um, hypotheses and theories yeah so the big bang is a theory yeah it's yeah. the explanation of the origin it's, yeah, of the universe. it's not necessarily proof it's just a theory of what could have yeah like it's, it's, um, uh -huh. it's, it's not guarantee it's, it's not guaranteed it's, it's, it's just the accepted idea it's actually. just the best explanation yeah yeah but it can be open to be incorrect yeah, right be but let's just go down the route of the big bang yeah. what does the big bang explain there's a lot of misconception that the explosion didn't uh there's something that happened before the explosion because everyone thinks that the Big Bang is just an explosion, right? But prior to the Big Bang, uh, there was dust, and they called it primordial dust. Yeah. From th the scientists, they say that this is from nothingness. But this contradicts the principle of science because something cannot come out of nothing. Yeah. Right. I mean, that's always a big question. Is obviously for it yeah. to start, it must yeah, have come did. from somewhere. It didn't just exactly. Yeah, that's how we started. Now, can we yeah, can yeah, we sure. think no, exactly? Yeah, yeah. So, can we think for one second that this primordial dust cloud that existed before the explosion, that explosion led to an order? What does explosion lead to? Perfect order. What does it lead to? If I mean, we see obviously, it, for, for yeah. years and years, it was not in order. Like for billions of years, it wasn't in order. It was only. It was only actually, it was just dust flying around, elements yeah. flying around until eventually gravity pulled a lot of them together and they formed yeah. into, into yeah. beings. But that was just a fact of science. So but but dust even clubs but, together and then it has more weight, so it'll form more dust. Even yeah. if that's the case, if I go if I go with your narrative, how does something that explodes leads to an order? Oh yeah, no, I get what you're saying. Right. I get what you're saying. So if we apply the principle of entropy in science. The principle of entropy explains that unless something is controlling or maintaining something, it will lead to chaos. Yeah. So how come we don't see the universe is in chaos? I mean, in, in some regards it is. It depends where you are in it, I think. Obviously, Earth right now is, yeah, we're not under chaos, but years ago we were. I mean, before, like, you look back uh, yeah. a few, like, billion years and we were a big volcanic rock that was yeah. constantly on fire. We were in yeah. ice ages and Let, stuff like that. I but mean, how does the chaos... I think it comes we into an order. look at it as a view of humans believe our timeline is like everything 
Whereas actually no on the grand scheme of things, we're like no not even a second. But then, the thing. if there's a if, the the, if there's an explosion, history. if there's an explosion of a bomb, for example, do you expect to see all of the elements coming together? Yeah, but you're talking about creating a thing. You're talking about you're trying to compare. But that's explosion. The explosion of a bomb on a planet compared to the ex but, but that's science. Explosion. But that's science to it's make science. Yeah, yeah it's that, prediction. That, that you're making. Yeah, you're the, making it, analogies. It'll blow up and then it'll, it'll yeah. fall onto the ground right. and then you'll be. So left how scared. does something that blows something up? How does it lead to uh, us living in a hospital or planet? Thing. You blow something up, okay. and obviously you'll yeah. be scattered, scattered mass everywhere. But are you and a scattered mass? In, in, one per, in one view, it could be chaos. In another person's view, it's just another fucking hill. You know? So that's open to subjectivity? It's subje yeah, I think, I think chaos is open to subject. I mean, you've got like modern art where people just splash something on a canvas, and that's considered art. I, I think that's it's just completely a, in the eye of when we it is. When we use the chaos, I think that's just from our experience. Yeah. yeah, I mean, so it doesn't. The human way is yeah. comparing it to what yeah. we've created. But I don't think I this don't. This is not considered chaos. Yeah, exactly. If this was exactly. completely bomb, we would say it's chaos. Exactly, but exactly. Earth, but we don't yeah, see that, do we? Care, we it? see is that your heart is beating. You're able to talk. You have two eyes. You have the ability to feel. You seriously think for one minute that we all came out of randomness, and and all of a sudden you're well proportioned. You're able to speak to us. This is what Allah says in the Quran. Yeah, Allah says that was there not a period of time when human are not worthy to be mentioned indeed we created human beings from a sperm drop as a test for him and we made and gave, we gave him hearing and sight think about this for one second you're telling me this drop this drop of water that doesn't have the creative ability you're telling me this drop of water in itself independently is responsible for giving you intellect is responsible for you talking to me is responsible for you you know thinking it's subject to it is, it is ludicrous. It's ludicrous, but it's possible because obviously we've proved that it is. I mean, I mean there's, there's like, a say, say, that, say you have like yeah, a yeah. silicon based light bulb. Okay. Okay? Right. They're not built with carbon, they're completely different. Yeah. They, would, they, would, they would basically breathe, drink different liquids than we would because of what they're made up of. But that's because they may have their own purpose. So we must have a noble purpose, right? But I think humans don't have a purpose. So what is your purpose okay. of life? But, but that's only... I mean, on the ground level, second. human's that's purpose is it, like every other animal. It, the, 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 only re, the, the only reason... Kind of all your, yeah. Everything you do in between is yeah. up to your own interpretation. You can go out and enjoy it. I mean, we obviously okay. live now where we can enjoy anything we want to do. Yeah. But the, the only reason you're able like, to... The only reason why you're saying that we can manufacture our own purposes is because you don't believe in the Creator, right? But it makes sense that if the Creator created us, He's going to create us for a purpose. He's not going to leave us misguided. I don't think there is generally a, a purpose. Well, so so you don't have a purpose for wearing headphones? You don't have a purpose for oh, so wearing I shoes? I wear them because I like listening to music. Okay, yeah. but that's still a purpose, isn't it? It's not, it's not, I wouldn't say it's like God's plan for me is to wear headphones and listen to music. I think it's just, I think I enjoy doing as an individual. I don't think there's, as in, if I was to completely leave all my job and go just But do you, think, do you think that's appealing to your rational thought? Saying that, you know, uh, uh, there's no purpose of my existence, uh, but I don't but something, but, 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 but this bottle, existence in yeah. terms of like any animal. I mean, like but that's only because when you see like a, yeah. a dog walking around yeah. the street, you wouldn't say it has what's its purpose. It's not there to to but heal another dog. It's not there that's to only save anyone. It's just a dog. That, that's, it just wants to that's only because that's only because you're operating under the assumption that there is no creator. <laughs> but the fact that if the creator, since the creator exists. It doesn't really matter what I feel and what you feel. Yeah. The creator is the one who knows best what is good for his creation. And that's why from out of Allah's wisdom, he sends guidance through prophets and messengers. That creator, as I told you, he is the one that maintains his creation. If it's random, random doesn't breed order. Random breeds what? Chaos. You don't see the chaos here. <laughs> It's not chaotic I mean, that you came to strap the station. Such a small scale, because we are such a small scale what? compared to the vastness of the universe. What? I mean, there's probably things going on in the universe that are completely fucking. Things are colliding. Stars only colliding, because black holes only are forming, only because yeah, only that is like that's chaos. Things good. are flying around, doing yes. whatever they want. Things to do are flying no. around from our perspective. That's only because our lack of knowledge. Because maybe perhaps hundred years time, you're going to see the wisdom behind why things are colliding. So randomness is only due to our lack of knowing the outcome. But as soon as we know the outcome, then we see there's a purpose. Because science doesn't explain why things happen. Science only explains how things happen, right? Yeah. So, so the point is, now we've established that something cannot come out of nothing. 
something cannot create itself. This magnificent creation, we were not responsible building and maintaining this universe. So there has to be something that is outside the creation, who is nothing like his creation, he's all powerful, all knowing, who brought everything to existence. Yeah. Yeah, and this creator, which we identify Allah, as this beautiful brother mentioned here, that he is absolute one, without a second, he has no partners, that he is self-sufficient. He, he is independent, he's not in need of anything, rather all of his creation in need of him. He doesn't have children, he doesn't have parents, nor was he born. And there is nothing co-equal to him. And this concept of God is, it agrees with your heart and your mind. Because if I was to tell you to worship a man, to worship a tree, you would instantaneously say, this is not worth it to be worshipped. Because this, this particular object is not responsible for maintaining my existence. So the creator that we're talking about is the one who is all powerful, all knowing being, yeah. who is nothing like his creation. So he sent messengers, and the purpose of our creation is to worship him alone. I have not created jinn and mankind except to worship me alone. So he created us for a purpose. That is the only purpose. That was the message of all the prophets and messengers. From the first man, Adam, to Abraham, Moses, Jesus, then the last and final messenger of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. The chain of revelation is always consistent. And the conclusion, the final conclusion, is the final revelation that we have the glorious Quran and the messenger of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Now, there are many evidences for Prophet Muhammad to be a true prophet. First of all, the Quran, this is a living miracle. Allah says in the Quran in chapter 15, verse 9, inna nahnu wa inna Indeed, it is we, Allah, who send down the reminder and we are its protectors. Now, we all know that the glorious Quran, it is preserved in our hearts. Do you know, there are millions of Muslims who have memorized the Quran, even as young as six-year-olds. We see that in the previous scriptures, it's not preserved. These have been corrupted. The Bible has been corrupted. The Bhagavad Gita, the Hindu scriptures. But the glorious Quran, Allah promises. He put the promise upon himself that I'm going to preserve the Quran. Yeah, yeah. And this is well known today. If somebody, if I made a mistake in my recitation, if I made a mistake in the recitation, someone immediately would correct my recitation because it yeah. is memorized by millions of people. Yeah. Should we test it now? So the preservation of scripture. <laughs> let the quiz and prove it. Yeah. No, let him carry on with yeah. it. Yeah. 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 So number one is the preservation of scripture. Yeah. Yeah? yeah. Number two is the Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, his character. You look at his life; it's well documented. He was known to be a sadiq al-amin. He was known to be the honest and trustworthy, even amongst his own community. Yeah. Because up until his first revelation at the age of 40. For 40 years, they knew him to be honest and trustworthy. It's not like today in the 21st century where, you know, there's billions of people and I'm only going by social media. Ah, oh, this person is truthful. No. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, lived in a tribalistic society, which means that everybody knew each other. Yeah? Yeah. yeah? So they knew him. They were his neighbors. So the, for 40 years, he was well known to be honest and trustworthy. He had a high reputation, great reputation. When he received the first revelation at the age of 40, yeah? He was appointed as a prophet, but he was appointed as a messenger when he was told by God to convey the message. So when he, when he went to his people, he said he got everyone together in an assembly. And he says to the people, if I was to say to you that there's an army behind me that's going to come and destruct us, what would you say? They say, you are the truthful one. You're the honest one. We know you're going to speak the truth. He says, I have been appointed as a messenger of God to tell you to stop worshipping these idols and worship the one who created us, Allah. Immediately, none of them accuse him to be a liar. So this is well known from the that You can look at the sources. Yeah. So his character, he was known to be truthful and honest. Now, would you rationally tell me that for 40 years they've known him, all of a sudden one big night he's, he's going to make the biggest lie in history that I'm a self-appointed prophet? Does not make sense. Okay. Thirdly, he's also unlettered. He could neither read nor write. And he's bringing a speech which the Arab poets never heard before. And Allah gives the challenge. If you don't believe this is from Allah, try and bring a surah like it. Up until this day, nobody has met the challenge. You will never be able to meet the challenge. And the fact that the Arab poets, the fact that they conceded the challenge in itself is a proof for us as well. Because we're not experts, they are the experts. So that's also proof that the Quran has to be from Allah and Muhammad, peace be upon him, is his messenger. Also, the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, he also gave prophecies what will happen in the future. 
For example, the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, he says, <coughs> a time will come when the Bedouin, when the Arabs would compete each other in constructing two buildings. The question I'd like to ask you, Ryan, right? Yeah. My name's Rahan, nice to meet you, yeah? Where is the tallest building in the world? Burj Khalifa. Burj Khalifa, in Dubai, right? Okay, and who's competing in Dubai? Hmm? Who is competing in Dubai? Competing? Yeah. Competing, yeah. Competing, competing for, competing, for tall yeah. buildings, yeah. From the US or something like that? Saudi Arabia. No, Saudi Arabia, only amongst the Arab countries. Oh, they're Not the, the only European ones that's competing Right. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, prophesizes more than 1,400 years ago. Now, if I was to ask you to bring your Google image, and you see the, the, the split image, 1990 Dubai until now, I've seen the difference, yeah. They you see the difference. A lot. Right. Yeah, it used so, to be like a basically a desert with exactly, few villages. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Now it's like the Prophet uh, Muhammad, peace and blessed be upon him, let alone 30 years ago, he told us this 1,400 years ago. So his prophecy came to I mean, pass. I have to definitely give it a read. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'll, I'll, I'll give it a read. I mean, I'm not saying I'm converted. Yeah, I'm yeah, right, my belief. Oh, let me make this very clear. Let me make this very clear, right? Yeah. What the brother was trying yeah. to say, yeah. where we're coming from, yeah. we all have our subjective belief. Yeah. Creator is objective, it's external to us. That's what we use to measure. That's what you were trying to say yeah. earlier. Because I mean in theory you can believe in the creator and not necessarily follow a religion. Yeah, yeah, of it's, course, it's, of course. It's more of the, yeah. the idea that the, yeah. the creator exists. Yeah, yeah. But that's irrelevant in the way you said, to be honest. You can't believe in something and not follow it. It's like you going to university. I think, it's, I think that's, no, a per, that's a the, personal the, the thing. Uh, you can using believe it. in something, but not necessarily follow. Yeah, but Allah like says. The ideas Allah, Allah, Allah says. No, hold on, hold on. I think you can. Re you, yes. you remind me. The, yeah. In the Quran or yeah. in Islam. Yes. Yeah. Yes, like Christianity, we have a belief, but it has to be based on knowledge. Yes. How can you worship something you don't know? True. So what we're saying, this thing, we we can't comprehend. It has to explain itself to us. Yes. It has to yeah. communicate with us. Exactly. Now, and, he, wanna... and he communicated to us through the Quran. Sorry. It's the last scripture that good yeah. that has sent. Yeah. And also, uh, also the Quran yeah. also provides ways to falsify if you don't yeah. believe this is from God. Allah yeah. says in, in Surah Nisa chapter 4 verse 82. أَفَلَا يَتَدَبُّرُونَ الْقُرْآنِ وَلَوْ كَانَ مِنْ عِنْدِ غَيْرِ اللَّهِ لَوَجِدَ فِي اِخْتَلَافًا كَثِيرًا That do they not consider the Quran with care? Had you been from anyone other than Allah, they will find there are many contradictions. Because you know that if this is from the Creator who is perfect and all-knowing, He's not going to con contradict Himself. You look at the previous scriptures, the Bhagavad Gita, the Hindu scriptures, the Bible, you know that's full of contradictions. The glorious Quran is given in evidence that you don't believe that this is from Allah, all you have to do is, is find a single contradiction. If you find a single contradiction, you can discard it. Islam cannot be true. So there are also ways of falsifying uh, the Quran and Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Yeah. Now for you, Ryan, now it's for you to investigate. Now there's two outcomes. Either you're able to find single contradiction, okay? You come back to us and you expose us. No problem. But another outcome, Ryan, what if there are no contradictions in the Quran? What if it meets all of the criteria? Then you have to question yourself. I can question myself, but then I'm always going to have my belief. I can, I can read it. All of your other it. questions are subsidiary. The primary questions, why am I here and who made me, is most important. Did the creator, did he send a book that is preserved? Did he send a messenger that we can verify to be true prophet? The answer is yes. Before you, let me, let you intervene, one, yeah. if yeah. you read and you think this is the truth, would you change your belief? If, you, if it's the truth. If I believe it to be the truth, possibly. But if, Alhamdulillah. Yeah, that's enough. That's enough. Yeah. So I have a question for you. Let's say yeah, you don't believe in the Creator, and I believe in the Creator. We both died, and we find out there is a Creator. There is Allah exists and everything. Who will face the consequences? Me or you? What the consequences? I mean, not, I haven't. Not sorry, believing sorry in, I haven't. I haven't mentioned. There's a paradise. The creator has the created akhira, yeah. paradise and hellfire. Paradise for the believers, the Muslim who believe in the oneness of God and worship Him alone. And the hellfire is for those who reject the truth, who reject Islam, who reject in Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him. After Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, after the message came to them, I mean, they didn't take it serious, and then they will be punished with hellfire. So let's say we both died and there is a crater. Who will face the consequences? 
Well, in my case, you'll be me because I don't believe in the crowd. Thank you. <laughs> so, so why you have the paradise? Okay, and I'll be so I'll be free, somewhere. right? I'll be free. And I'll but be you will come. We're not saying that. We're not saying that. <laughs> no, I'm saying to you, we don't know about you. You might accept your Islam tomorrow. We inshallah. Don't know about you, inshallah. Inshallah. Because May Allah guide. I, I conveyed the message to you. It's up to you to take it serious. The reason being I brought the hellfire is for you to take it serious because you, I don't want you to say, okay, everything the brother, mashallah, may Allah bless him, explain to you. Us, I want you to take it serious because this life is a test. We're all going to die one day. Yeah. Do you know that? Oh, yeah, obviously. Yeah. So because we're going to die, we might, we will see, uh, we will be questioned. What did you do in life? Did you worship me? Did the message of Islam came to you? So it's up to you to take a serious now. That's it. Yeah. And the sun, that's okay, it. Nothing no, more. Okay. All right. Thank you very much. Yeah. Let's speak to you, Ryan. Nice. Take care. Have, have a good day. Right. Please have a read of the Quran. Thank you very much, Ryan. Take care. Have a good day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He has a brother. Finish up. Oh, come in. Go on. You come. Uh, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Um, brothers and sisters, I hope you will. I don't know why I'm here. Why am I doing closing state? Because I was in there most of the time. It was Brother Sharif and uh, Brother Hassan and uh, Brother Aziz. But Alhamdulillah, um, very pleasant uh, gentleman, his name is Ryan. Um, he's he's open-minded, um, open-minded individual and we convey, we conveyed him uh, Tawheed, Risala, Akhira and um, he was skeptic about the existence of the Creator but Alhamdulillah, the brothers, may Allah bless them. I mean, you know, we gave evidences of the, uh, you know, the existence of the Creator, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they used the Quranic argument, mashallah, uh, you know, were the Creator out of nothing? Did they create themselves? Did they create the heavens and the earth? Surely they have no certain belief. And so, you know, we, we try to, um, we try to address his claim that, uh, you know, he said things came out of randomness. And we don't, and Alhamdulillah, we address that. So, uh, Jazakallah khair for listening. Please make dua for, uh, you know, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide him. May Allah azza wa jal accept our da'wah and any mistakes that we made is only from ourselves. And anything good that came from us is only from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Do you want to make any No, no, no. Thank you. Oh, okay.